What's up everybody? Preston here with Team Keto. Tonight we are talking about ketone strips testing, why it's important to test your ketone levels and how to do it the right way. So let's hop into it. Up here on the whiteboard, as you can see, I have the main focus of ketones equals ketosis. And what do I mean by that? I mean, obviously we're all here doing keto. And the point of keto is to get yourself into that nutritional state of ketosis. But in order to uh, have your body in that nutritional state of ketosis, what has to happen? You have to be producing ketones. Where does that happen? Uh, as we've learned, ketones are mainly produced in the liver. So whether that is by the uh, actual fat that you are ingesting or the ketones, from the supplements or your actual body fat, which is what we want most. Those go to your liver and are turned into ketones. And if you are producing a sufficient amount of those ketones, then you are in the nutritional state of ketosis. So that's why the main focus is ketones equal ketosis. So you'd think, hey, if ketosis is the main point of all of this, shouldn't there be some way to measure it? And yes, there is. That's what we're gonna talk about today. So the question is, so why ketone strips? I have a bottle of ketone strips here in my pocket, actually. So you kind of shake them. There's a lot of uses for them. You can you know, like make music with them. I'm kidding. Anyways, but yeah, so if no one has ever tested their ketone levels uh, by using a urine strip, most of them come in bottles like so, just little small bottles, usually 100 strips per bottle and they're pretty simple and easy. So I'll pull one out so y'all can have a look-ski. Um, just little simple strips like this, all right? And basically you just take out the strip and you go into the bathroom and you pee on it or as you're urinating, then you pass the strip through the urine stream and wait, you know, 30 to 40 seconds, sometimes a little longer, a little less, give or take. Uh, and then you will take the little strip ending here and compare it to the chart that you have going from trace to large amount of ketones. And uh, here, let's put this back in here. So you got to be careful to not touch the reactive reagent ending that actually does the measuring. And we'll talk a little more about that at the end. But for now, going into it. So why ketone strips? First of all, um, is because this little bottle right here is the quickest, easiest, and most inexpensive way of measuring whether or not you are in or close to that nutritional state of ketosis, okay? Um, but there's always, there's little caveats. So that's why I have this arrow pointing up to here. Basically, urine strips, um, urine strips answer simple questions. And the simple question that we should all focus on for urine strips is the basic whether or not my body is producing ketones at all. And we'll go into why that is. So going on to number two, the ketone strips measure our ketone uh, or one of the ketone bodies. Remember there are three ketone bodies um, just like there's different ways of measuring. You can uh, measure your ketones through uh, the breath test. Okay. You can also measure your ketones uh, using uh, the blood test, measuring the ketone body BHB in your blood. But like I said, the ketone strips are the simplest, easiest, and most inexpensive way to determine basically whether you're in ketosis or not, or your body's producing ketones at all. And that's what we want to know, and that's what we want to focus on, all right? So the ketone body acetoacetate is found in our urine. Basically, one of the ketone bodies, uh, as your body goes around, it's circulating, it's using it, um, then some of it gets passed through the kidneys and excreted out, and that's what you're measuring in these little urine strips. And so it is a, uh, it's definitely not the most accurate way. We have talked about this in other videos before, but for all those new, never used ketone strips are just a good refresher for myself too. Uh, the ketone strips are definitely not the most accurate way of measuring like exact, you know, millimole per liter or percentages of ketones produced because one, it is only measuring uh, one, of, one out of the three of the ketone bodies, like I said, acetoacetate. Um, and then the numbers kind of get, uh, they get very specific, but the number three is basically 
Uh, nutritional ketosis, the range for nutritional ketosis, which is what we're shooting for, um, has been established as, as starting out at basically 0.5 to 1 millimole per liter, okay? Um, and then an optimal range, and this is just kind of a standard overall optimal range, okay? Doesn't mean it's necessarily the optimal range for you, but uh, it's more likely to be the optimal range for the greater majority of people uh, using the strips and testing their ketones. So optimal range would be a one, two, three millimol per liter. And don't worry about those, um, the last words, the millimol, millimol per liter, those kind of get a little bit confusing. Um, and that's why like some testing strips are more confusing than others. So the ones that we like to use have it listed out in millimol per liter instead of the like number four, it goes, uh, the strips that we have and we use measure in the millimole per liter and not in the milligrams per deciliter. So there are strips that are sold out there um, that you can buy and a lot of people use and post up on our pages and you actually have to convert it from the deciliter to the millimole per liter and it just gets more confusing. So we kept it simple for you but we'll go into that a little bit more. So uh, let's repass real quick. Number one, ketone testing strips are the quickest, easiest, and most inexpensive form to basically tell whether or not your body is producing ketones at all, okay? Number two, it is measuring just specifically the ketone body acetoacetate that is passed uh, through the body into the urine. It's not measuring any of the ketones that are uh, from the breath or in the blood. So it's just kind of a rough overall measurement of, okay, is my, like I said, is my body producing ketones at all? And that's what we want to know. And uh, number three and four, basically nutritional ketosis range, optimal ketosis range. But keep in mind, like I said, um, these, these measurements, exact measurements are hard to get with the ketone strips. That's why we focus on just the, is my body producing uh, ketones at all? And that's the measurement of this. Um, basically these millimole per liter uh, is a little more, Mm, what I want to say, in depth or whatever. That's usually what we do with the, uh, the blood test measurements, measuring the BHB ketone body. Um, and then, yeah, these strips are nice. We recommend them, one, because you don't have to convert it from uh, the milligrams per deciliter to the millimole per liter. And uh, yeah, that's the basics. So let's turn around to the other side of the board, okay? Right here. So like I said, the number one question you should all focus on is this question right here. When you're using urine strips to test your ketone levels, just focus on the question, is my body producing ketones at all? Because if, if you can uh, use these strips, um, pee on them, measure them, and it's turning even like a little bit pink or a little bit purple, or maybe it's dark purple, then you know your body's at least producing some ketones and you're doing something right. And that's what we want to focus on rather than the exact numbers for now, especially for everyone starting out, okay? Because it's a totally new diet and we want to help uh, make this as simple and easy as possible. Uh, okay, so going on, this, well, okay, this is the yes, ask yourself question, all right? Because it's a question that can be answered from using the uh, urine strips. The do not answer questions, unfortunately, um, most of these questions right here are, when I went through our Team Keto page, and the, uh, the Team Keto 15 Day Kickstart group that we have, you can just look in the search bar and you can verify this for yourself. You just type in ketone strips or urine strips and all of the questions and comments over the past however many months that people have asked about urine strips will pop up. And these are like the uh, highest asked questions that I found. Um, so basically, a lot of people will test their urine um, or test their ketone levels using the urine strips, sorry. And uh, number one question is, are my levels too high? So if you pull out, you pull out one of these little strips, like I demonstrated before, um, you take it to the bathroom, and we debated about whether showing this or not, but we decided not to. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so you pull out one of the little strips, you run it through your stream of urine or pee on it, wait 20, 30, even up to 40 seconds, and then compare it to, um, the color range that it has on here, and it gives you the rough estimate of if you're producing ketones or not, okay? Um, and some people ask the question like, oh, here, I'm all the way at the eight or the 16. Does that mean my ketone levels are too high? Um, 
I kind of go back and forth with that question because yes, it is a legitimate question, okay, because there is a such thing as ketoacidosis, but the majority of you do not have to worry about that um, unless you are a diabetic or have been diagnosed as a pre-diabetic by your doctor. And if you are, definitely don't start uh, doing keto unless you are doing it along with your doctor, okay? But for the rest of you, the question of are your ketone levels too high? Well, like I said before, this is the easiest, quickest, and most inexpensive way of measuring, which also means it's not um, the most accurate down to the specific numbers and percentages. It is just the rough estimate of is my body producing ketones at all, okay? So basically asking are my ketone levels too high kind of becomes, uh, well, I don't know, you know, because it's only measuring one of the ketone bodies, if that makes sense, and everyone's body is different in how it's using them, producing them. And we'll go into that, the variables here at the bottom. Uh, the second is, uh, if, if I am measuring, like, you know, one of the last two purple ranges, does that mean that I'm dehydrated? And uh, a lot of people, that's just kind of the quickest answer to say, oh, you're just dehydrated, you know, uh, drink more water, which I don't think is a, uh, a bad recommendation because uh, for most people, drinking more water uh, is not a problem. Most people should be drinking more water, getting in more electrolytes, staying hydrated, so it can help, yes. Um, the other is, okay, do higher ketones equal higher fat burn? How many of you have asked this question? All right, say I. All right, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I remember when I first started keto, I myself asked myself that question. Hey, you know, if, uh, if it reads, if it's uh, darker purple on these strips, does that mean I'm using more ketones, burning more ketones? Does that mean I'm gonna like shred my six pack? Um, I think it's a natural question for all of us to ask. And uh, same with the reverse. Say you go and you pee on the strip and compare it to the little uh, color range chart here and you're like, oh man, it only says I'm like in trace ketones. Well, does that mean that uh, the lower my ketones show on this uh, urine strip, the less fat I'm burning, the less fat of my body is you know, turning into ketones or converting from fat to ketones in the liver? And um, there is some correlation with those questions but um, like I referred to before, the strips are only measuring, okay, only measuring one ketone body out of the three, okay? And everyone's body uh, uses ketones differently, produces them differently, and these are the three variables we'll get to here in just a second, all right? Um, the last uh, frequently asked question about urine strips was, okay, when I'm testing them, peeing on them, how will the supplements um, or what I'm eating in general affect my readings? Uh, and the answer is yes, they will affect your readings, but as far as being able to determine that by just the ketone strip compared to um, doing the, the blood test for the BHB ketone body, but even the blood test isn't 100% accurate and there are other variables. So the three variables, these are, these are super important, all right? This is why at the beginning I tried really, really hard to emphasize Using the urine strips is a great way to ask this one question. Is my body producing ketones at all? It's not asking how much ketones is my body producing. Uh, it's not asking for any specific measurements, all right? Um, it's basically knowing all it's measuring is this one ketone body and if it's doing it at all. Because of these variables, all right? So everyone's body, so every body, uh, is converting their dietary fat, what you eat, what you drink, um, converting that plus your body fat into ketones through the liver, like I said. So everyone is converting different amounts of that, okay? And it's hard to tell how much your body, how much body fat or dietary fat your body uh, is converting in the liver to ketones um, just by measuring one ketone body coming out of the urine when there's other ketones circulating through your blood that can be measured and other ketones through your breath that can be measured, all right? Um, so it's, it's really hard to tell uh, just how much of it uh, is when, at what specific time, how much is being used, how much is being converted. So that, that's the second, the utilizing. So someone could be converting more ketones, but even though you're converting more fat into ketones, so burning more fat, which is awesome, but even though you are burning a lot of fat, 
you could still be utilizing less ketones than someone else uh, for a whole host of reasons, right? Um, different uh, ad adaptations to enzymes in the body of converting fats to ketones and, and back and forth, um, as well as uh, receptors for ketones, you know, in the muscles, brain, all over the body. Uh, and that varies from person to person. So the, it doesn't necessarily mean if this re reads low that you aren't converting or producing a lot of ketones, you know. Um, it could, but it doesn't necessarily, and it doesn't also mean that maybe you are converting or producing lots of ketones, but just because um, not a lot shows up on the ketone strip, it doesn't mean you are low because you may be utilizing almost all of those ketones. And the percentage of what you uh, convert and utilize will change throughout your keto journey. Okay, so someone just starting out keto, um, that's why we recommend the strips, all right? You're just starting out keto, all you want is just a basic, is my body producing ketones, all right? Is this meal plan, the 15 day keto kickstart meal plan that I'm using for the next 15 days, is it helping me within a couple days to start producing ketones so I can measure uh, at least a little color change toward the purple on these strips, all right? And the last one is the retaining. So some people uh, um, are better, I guess you could use that word, at retaining ketones, continuing them, uh, uh, or con continuing the circulation uh, in the blood or storing uh, in muscles, mitochondria, where they're used, uh, not storing long term, but uh, just for more ready to use. Um, but, but yeah, so everyone's different in those three things as far as how much body fat and how much dietary fat is going through your liver and being converted to ketones and then how much of that that's being converted into ketones is actually being utilized and then of all that that's being utilized or actually produced into ketones how much of that is someone excreting uh, through the urine um, out of their breath or how much are they actually retaining in their blood um, so those are kind of the variables and that's that's why asking a lot of these very specific questions um, you can go ahead and ask them if you want, but uh, unless you have the, um, the meter to test, which we've recommended the Precision Extra, and there's a few other great ones out there to test the uh, blood ketone levels, um, that will answer some of these questions to a greater extent. But even then, there's still so many variables with all these three that it's, it's, it's hard to know exactly what's going on unless you literally went and you know, went into a lab and they took all the, the tests and dissected you and whatnot, which you don't want to do, okay? Um, but yeah, so these are the basics of the urine strips, guys. So let's, these are actually our uh, Team Keto urine strips. And uh, like I said before, one specific thing I love about these strips is they come in a very easy to use and inexpensive bottle, okay? Uh, you get 100 of these little strips, in this entire bottle, um, which makes, you know, whether you're testing them every morning when you wake up, um, after, you know, one to two hours after you eat a meal, um, those are two different methods of measuring. Then it becomes a very inexpensive way to do it because doing the blood test is pretty expensive. Most of the strips uh, that you use for the blood test are like a dollar a piece, sometimes more. So these, I don't know what these come out to, probably like just a couple cents each. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, the last thing on the very end, a lot of strips you'll buy, you'll, you'll have to, basically you'll take one out and then you'll go pee on it and compare it to the chart, but the chart will have it in milligrams per deciliter instead in millimoles per liter, which our strips have the millimoles per liter. So you don't have to pee on it and then compare it and then take out your phone and do some calculations to know, oh hey, I'm actually like in nutritional ketosis. You don't have to do that. It's all right here on the chart for you. And uh, yeah, we're going to be actually launching our ketone strips very soon. So make sure to stay, um, I don't know, just, do we have a subscribe button? No, we don't have a subscribe button. But basically, make sure to check the page because um, we're going to be launching them really soon. So if you have been wanting to, uh, wanting to measure your ketone levels, then this, like I said, is the quickest, easiest, and most inexpensive way to do that and you don't have to convert them um, like you do with uh, a lot of other ketone strips you can buy out there, which even for myself is, is a pain and a hassle. 
Um, but yeah, you get 100 strips in each of these bottles, and let's let's read the um, the instructions. There's it's super simple. It says remove a test strip, taking care to not touch the reaction field. So the reaction field is this little end piece right there that actually is what uh, you pee on, and it measures the ketone levels and turns color. All right. And uh, immediately close the container again because like moisture and air can affect um, how um, its ability to read the ketones in your urine, basically. And then you dip the test strip in in about one to two seconds into fresh urine specimen and read the results by comparing the test fields with the color scale on the test. Um, and it says leave it in there for up to like 40 seconds. So that's pretty simple. But yeah, that's it. So these are the ketone strips. If you're looking for ways to test your ketone levels, then urine strips are awesome, and we will have them available on teamketo.com. So thank you all for tuning in, and happy ketone urine testing.